that for Canadians to be optimistic about their future, they need to see the prospect of jobs for them and for their children. That's what's going to keep our economy going. Finance Minister Bill Morneau delivering an update on Canada's finances. It shows strong numbers and growth, but much of it is in response to competition south of the border. We now find ourselves in a position where for the next investment in Canada, the ability to make that investment is 5% advantaged over the United States. That's very positive because we have a competitive situation that we always need to think about. The government hopes to gain that competitive edge by allowing manufacturers of goods to write off machinery and equipment, and more write-offs for clean energy equipment and capital investments. And it's those capital investment write-offs the government hopes will help the energy sector in Alberta. The investments in Alberta are significant capital investments. It will have an important advantage for those organizations that make investments to create jobs in the future. And I think that will be important for people in that sector. The fiscal update revealed an economy growing at 3%, increased revenues, and a deficit of $18.8 billion. Morneau was asked why, given the positive numbers, the government wasn't spending more to decrease our deficit. He says he wants to stay on course. People that would decide, no, instead we should dramatically change tomorrow. And what that would mean would be that we would actually have to make cuts. We would have to have more of an austerity approach, which we think would actually have exactly the negative of what we're trying to achieve. The update also flaunted 550,000 new full-time jobs over the last three years, the lowest unemployment rate in 40 years, and the strongest economic growth of the G7. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.